Hello everybody, this is Saferno11. Welcome back to more Fantasy Star Online. Oh, I just did another video. And as it turned out, it didn't record right. So, voice is a little sore. Uh, as you can see, I am now level 24. Uh, that is because I did quite a bit of grinding off screen. Um, I also managed to defeat the boss of the game. So, I figured I would come back and... Show how I did it, and all that good stuff. Oh. <laughs> I think I left my mouse on the screen for most of a couple of episodes, so I do apologize for that, guys. I caught it this time, though. Alright. So, first and foremost, uh, my equipment has actually changed. I'm now using a buster. Yeah. Yeah, I'm now using... There we go. I'm using a Buster 2. I've got two general powers. Um, okay, good. So I have an empty inventory ready to go. Uh, in the last episode, we took down the mines and the um, robot overseer, I guess? Uh, in this episode, we're going to the ruins. Yeah, I was doing a lightsaber video review, so I'll have to put that up. Now, Busters are the third tier of weapon. Well, they're the third tier of straight sword. Um, they're one-handed swords. Uh, busters are purple. Uh, they're the third tier. There are five tiers of weapons. Uh, there is the Saber brand Buster. Uh, the fourth tier is called the Palish. It is blood red. And then there is the... I don't remember what the fifth one is called, but it's golden, and that is the highest tier of weaponry. Um, it can also be upgraded the least. So, um, daemons, I am sure you look very familiar. Um, most starting enemies are basically identical, as stupid as that is. Um, their attack patterns are almost the same. Um, they look exactly like evil sharks, they look like the things from the forest. The only enemies I found that are really unique, <coughs> aside from larger enemies, um, are the ruins. The ruins' basic enemies were completely different. Um, well, they took different tactics to kill, different timing and stuff. With these guys, it's the exact same thing as fighting the evil thing, uh, the evil stuff. Now here, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of traps, and you're gonna have to deal with a lot of powerful enemies. Um, for this area of the game, oops. Dang it! Someone told me how to do it, and I forgot. If you can believe it. No. Yeah, it was one of the trigger buttons, and then, like, start. Um, but, you know what? Let me kill these guys, and then I can explore to my heart's content and try to figure this out. Alright. So I will be right back, guys. I just need to check. Aha! Alright, I got it, guys. So, uh... As I think I've said before, most of the videos I record are on PC. Um, I am running an emulation of Fantasy Star Online, which is why I get a little, like, lag spikes. I believe, it, to do this on the GameCube controller, it is right stick and Y, or right, um, trigger, not button, but right trigger and Y, and it will bring up a list. Um, now, if you want to use something else, um, you can hit the right trigger or left trigger, or just the right trigger, I guess. Um, and it'll bring up item usage, traps, and then this. Um, now while on here, if you hit X, it will bring up, uh, item description, which you can then use the trigger on, uh, and then hitting B will cancel out. So that is how that works. And I actually want to have this, oops, I was going the wrong way. I actually want to have the slicer here. Now these things, they float, um, they don't do a whole lot. That is actually going to be very bad. Um, that is the enemy that does the most, that does a lot of damage. Or the floaters, um, again, with, like most enemies, you, what you want to do is have a multi-hit weapon. As you can see, the one enemy that does that, that one I warned you about, is jumping all over the place. It's one of the dangerous things about it, 
Um, the little floating guys, what they do if they get close enough is they will bite you. I'll try to. And basically, it just, it does a little bit of damage. They're not dangerous, however, when paired with other enemies, they can be very dangerous. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Now, finding these guys, if you attack them head-on, they will actually block. Um, they have a chance of missing, however, then they hit you with that arm, and that, or that other arm, or their blade, and it hurts a lot. If you can get them to, get them to attack. Come on. And then attack right afterwards, and that'll give you an opening that you can explore. Antidote. Why did I pick up the antidote? I can't get the point. Yeah, thank you again to, um... Oh shoot, I don't remember. Now I don't remember his name. He's the guy who requested me to continue to do the series. Um, but he was the one that reminded me about this menu. Um, I used to know about it, and then I for had forgotten about it. Now here. Oh. Panicked a little bit. I heard a really weird noise, and the cat's having a hairball. And I thought he was, like, severely sick. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for traps. Now, this area... Um, the, the ruins in particular are going to have a lot of areas that are weird. This right here, if you go close to it, it will poison you. Uh, me being an android, I can't be poisoned. However, every time you find them, if you attack them, they will always leave an item. They are item boxes. Um, and there's also boxes that can drop on you from the ceiling. Um, you can see them from the ground. That's what I was looking for, but I don't see any, so I think we're good. Let's grab that one. Now, these switches, what they will do, um, usually I found the switches here uh, generally lead to items. They're usually not required to progress. So if you're doing a speed, if you're doing an item run, go ahead, search for them. Um, if you're not, I would recommend just avoiding them. These rooms are actually quite helpful. Uh, enemies will usually, they don't always follow. Um, oh, shoot. Enemies. Um, trying to talk and avoid getting murdered. Um, enemies will not always follow. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Enemies will not always follow. Oh, environment. That's what I was going to say. Um, so sometimes they will walk around. Or sometimes they'll catch. So like this room in particular, uh, if you can get them to walk into the... That triple attack is really helpful. You want that to happen. But if you can get the enemy to walk into the, the edges of this platform, um, they'll actually stay stuck there. And while those floating enemies appear to be floating, they're actually not. Um, that They will get caught on that ledge there. And that gives you a little bit of extra uh, time to take care of them. Uh, especially if you have a ranged weapon, then you can just sit back and blast to your heart's content. Hey, buddy. Hi, bud. Okay. I think he was having... He, I think he was the one having the hairball. Oh, this again. So, the usual here. Just hit start. Oh, those are quick fires. Let's equip our slicer. Yeah, the flags I found are generally a waste of time. Oh, let's get the mouse out of there. Oh, oh, no! I can't see the screen! That was terrifying. So as you can see, slicers are quite helpful. Um, if you're playing a regular hunter, uh, be warned, slicers are actually one of the few weapons that you're going to need a lot of accuracy. Um, especially because um, they tend to miss a lot, unless you have high accuracy, which I'm still using a green slicer, that's why I'm able to hit as accurately as I am is because my accuracy rating is so high above the increased mine is really good though. It's because my accuracy is so high above the uh, required level. Yeah, but overall, as you can see, um, I'm not really having too much trouble in the ruins. It's because I went into the next, I went into hard mode and actually trained for a while. 
I got some. That's where I got my uh, Buster. Or my. Is it the Buster? Yeah, I think it's the Buster. Yes. That's, that's where actually where I went and got the Buster uh, in preparation for this fight. Thanks for that. So, I would recommend once you hit level, just grind until you hit 20. Um, by the first time you get to the runes, you should be close. Uh, and then from there, just go into hard mode. And then grind some stuff up. Um, occasionally come back, test your strength. If you feel you're doing good, take on the boss. Um, yeah, just the boss is quite frustrating. Um, for like, it, it is definitely lives up to its experience of being the boss of the game. Not because it's highly difficult, which I mean it is, especially later on. Um, but it's it's more like it's it's unique. You're fighting something that you've never really seen before. Oh, this is just an item room. Why did I kill everything in here? Shoot. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Should have just kept moving. The mines is also or the ruins are also the most single convoluted place you'll encounter. So, be prepared to get lost. Also, if you step into a room and there's no reaction, usually that means you have sword guys you have to fight. And there he is. Now, when their arms start to glow like that, I don't actually know what that means. Um, I would just recommend, you know, do your usual circling stuff. See if you can trick them into attacking. Once you do, wail away until they're dead. And now we have to fight two of them. Now. Uh-oh. No. I, I don't want. Woo. That was close. No. Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. Uh-oh. No! Um, I think that glowy thing on their arm, if memory serves, uh, what that does actually... Oh gosh, I was so afraid I'd have to fight more of the Del Sabers. I don't like Del Sabers. Um, what the thing, the only thing on their arm, I think, is, is what it is, is it's, um, when you attack them and they counter it, or they parry it, they're actually charging their attacks, and so when they do that little lunge attack with their arm, I think what's, uh-oh, so the, no, ugh, oh, I got hit, technically. What those are is that they're a bunch of the, um, there are a bunch of the little guys, and if you get caught, what happens is, is they, um, they split into four, and then they'll just sit there and hit you. Oh, that's what I had? Um, but once they split into their smaller section of four, um, they, the, the, large, the other four, uh, actually won't do anything. Um, if you can kill them when they're all grouped together like that, They'll, uh, you, you get the experience for every single one. Come here. As you can see, they're not particularly strong. Alright, let's see where this leads us. Okay, so as you can see, if I were to go into this other door, I could push the button, and which I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that, because I know where I'm going already, I don't really need to. Or I'm not too worried about items. <laughs> um, also, running hard mode, you will always find more in hard mode. That's is the box that I'm in. Um, if you're outside it, you can whack it. Otherwise, it'll explode and do damage to you, as you saw. Uh, I heard something. Which means it's the mage. Nope. Dark Belra. Dark Belra is an annoying s SOB. Um, he will move slowly, uh, like this, he is not much of a threat, just circle behind him and do, you know, your regular attack patterns, whatever they are. Um, if you are in front of him, I really don't want to display this, he will do one of two things. He will do that, which almost always hits, or if you are away from him, as you can see, he can't really move all that well, he will do a rocket punch. Now, that will actually hit every enemy. 
um, in front of him, including ones other enemies you're fighting. So that can be helpful. Um, you just need to be careful, watch your distance, make sure you don't get whacked, because getting hit by him really hurts. He is basically the, uh, the... What was that enemy? The bold bear? Bugbear. Yeah, he is the bugbear of the mines. Very powerful. Um, hits for a decent amount of damage. Not fun to fight. Okay. So let's see if I can... Yeah, I'm just... I'm really trying to rush through this to, uh... Not that I'm getting sick of you guys or anything. I'm just really tired of playing PSO. I'm, uh... I'm good. I'm tired. I, I, I don't want to play the game anymore. To be frank. Not that I am a Frank. I don't even know. Well, I, that's a lie. I, do, I actually do know a Frank. Uh-oh. Out of the way. Hiya! So let's see if I can manage to kill them all or not. Probably not, but it'll be worth a shot. Also, about your uh, your little buddy, I believe, and I've been wrong before, but I believe what happens is is if you get hit, or if you get, um, if you send that, it, it, if you have a full bar and you go back with a telepipe and then come back again, I believe your thing is set back to zero. So that is a factor. Bear that in mind. So overall, I'm not going to check those messages, but basically what she I'll let that be a surprise, but it involves the origin of where we are and what these ruins are. Um, basically though, for those of you that are, will never play the game, um, this is a, not actually a ruin, this is a seal. Uh, they tried to bury something here and seal something here, and Ringo unfortunately, Red Ring Ringo unfortunately, well, let it out. Um, this room is actually one of several fixed locations. You will always encounter this room when you're running through the ruins. This is a sign you are on the right direction. So every other alternate pathway up to this point has been dead ends or item rooms. They have not been required to progress. Yeah, so these ruins. See, even there she did uh, quotation. And this is where Dark Belra really, really sucks. As you can see, we have other enemies. We have claws here. However, if I wanted to, I could actually just make Dark Belra attack the claws. I'll try to do. And there we go. And if, as long as you hit the claws at least once, uh, you will still get experience for attacking them, or for defeating them. You won't get the same experience for delivering the final blow yourself, but you'll still get decent damage, or you'll still get decent experience. I think it's like 80% experience, maybe a little less. Oh, full inventory bar already. Yeah, that's something else about the ruins. Um, the ruins have a lot of items. They're, if you need something, uh, the ruins are usually the best place to go. Uh, ru the ruins are generally always the best place to farm as well, uh, because sometimes the ruins will have items from the next quote-unquote tier. Um, so sometimes the ruins will have stuff from hard mode, or the hard ruins will sometimes have stuff from very hard, and, and so on. <coughs> it, it, it is uncommon, but, you know, you run the game enough. Okay, now what's coming? So, Bull Claw. As you can see, you actually can't attack them. Um, ah, the guy got sh So, as you can, now you're getting a great first hand experience as to what happens when claws surround you. Um, they were interrupting my attack patterns. I couldn't really attack because they were attacking so frequently. Um, very frustrating. So let's keep moving on. Like I said, I'm just going to be ignoring these. Um, I'm not too worried about items right now. Uh, I've got a pretty good stock of cash. 
Um, and even if I didn't, I don't really need items. Ah, uh, here we go. Hey, the lights are off. Oh, I know what that did. That opened the other doorway. Well, as you can see, lights are now back on. So, we go in here, and since the door is already open, we can just bypass the claws and keep going forward. This room, I've been waiting for this room. This room is actually really cool, and there is a secret in this room. Uh, be very careful when you're just getting up like that, uh, you, because you can be hit while you're getting up, and if you have the misfortune to be hit while you're getting up like that, there is a good chance you will just die. Um, you, it's fairly easy to die in the game. Um, and, and that's actually one of the negatives of playing this without anybody. If you die, that's it. You're done. Whereas, uh, if you're playing with somebody, you can use a moon atomizer to bring them back to life. Don't care. Dealing with Dark Bellroom. still hasn't unlocked. I'm actually surprised. There's one enemy type that we have not encountered yet that I am very surprised that we have not. It's actually a fairly common enemy type, which is why I'm a little worried that we haven't encountered it yet. Oh, attack them. As you can see, now that I'm using a buster, I actually am hitting or missing decent, a decent amount. Uh oh. Here he is, the Chaos Sorcerer. Um, if you want to deal with him the most efficient way, the most efficient way to do so is actually um, if you're a lower level, you're not going to be able to kill him immediately. He will teleport around you uh, and he will cast one of two, three spells, I think. I think he can heal himself, but then he'll cast Fire Aga. Wow, Final Fantasy showing much? Um, he will cast a fire explosive spell on you. Um, it does pretty good damage and it almost always hits. Or he will use a ice spell on you, but that is close range, so if you're a distance away, it can't hit you. Um, if you want to destroy his crystals, you can. However, um, I found the easiest way is just go directly for him. Now, there's actually a secret. If we go into the waterfall, we have an item room. Um, it's, it's not really, you know, something super important, but it is kind of cool to show off, so. So that is a secret, and that's, the, as far as I know, the only, like, quote-unquote secret that PSO has hidden, like, in, is in a room. Or, uh, a room. I don't believe- Aha! Okay, 
Now look at the top of the very the very top of the screen. Do you see how there are those things hanging from the top? Those are traps. Um So as long as you don't if you are playing with somebody, you can destroy it before it activates for them. But again, if you're playing alone, your only option is you're going to get hit. Uh, I know I'm on the right track. Why is this taking so long? Okay, well, if that was just an item room, then this must be the way to go. Oh, well, there's the crystal. Um, those... Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, when I got interrupted from that last hit, I was like, oh no, that's not good. <coughs> Ugh. I really wore my voice out with that, uh, that video that I did, that lightsaber video. I was talking for almost 20 minutes without water, um, just talking. Really made my voice wrong. My throat wrong. My throat just hurts overall. We'll just do the rest of the murder ourselves. Oh, now what do we have to fight? Shots are the. They're basically shotguns. So much just stuff we have to kill. Yeah, I don't like um, one of the things that as you're progressing, I'm sure you'll notice heavy attacks have a higher chance of missing. That is because heavy attacks are you're basically doing double damage. Um, so what that means is I don't know if it does exactly double. Um, what I feel though is that what heavy attacks do is they actually increase or you have to have higher accuracy. Uh, to do heavy, or when you use heavy attacks, so they have a greater chance of missing. There we go. There we go. Here and there. So it's, light makes darkness appear exist, but it doesn't always. Reincarnation. The rule is here. It should be sealed. Moot. Dis. Dits. Powman. She says she wishes she had time to study these unknown characters. Assuming I don't die. Oh, excellent. Okay. I think I actually hit most of them in this attack. We'll see. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Aha! Okay. So we made it to the mines too. Um, it was a long, difficult battle, uh, but we made it through. So that is the mines number one. And I'll see you guys for the mines. Not the mines. This is the ruins one. And I'll see you guys for the ruins number two. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.